Yo, y'all, this was Happy 7, and today I just wanted to talk about uh, Windows 11, which is apparently going to be Microsoft's next operating system, and I guess just my thoughts initially on it. So, part of the reason I'm doing this is because I have been wanting something new in the operating system uh, department, I guess, for a while now. Um, and one reason why I'm I'm really excited about it is because a couple of years ago, Microsoft announced that Windows 10 was going to be their last operating system and that uh, they weren't going to make any new big versions like this. They were just going to continually update Windows 10. Um, and they've never changed that stance up until they announced this uh, back on the 24th of June, I think. Um, so... Obviously, I haven't used Windows 11 because the only versions of it that are out are leaked versions that are several months old, and I feel like that's not a very fair judgment. Um, and I guess take my opinion on all this with a, with a grain of salt because obviously I haven't used it yet, and I'll make another video like this once I'm actually able to use it. Um, so yeah, anyways... Uh, so part of, I've looked through this and I have to say, s first impressions, not great, honestly, you know, introducing windows 11, a new windows experience, bringing you closer to the people and things you love. All right. Doesn't really mean anything, but. You know, it's it's the it's the opening line. They're gonna say something pretentious. It's, you know, um, you know, and so of course here you get your first look at it, and okay, taskbar's in the middle. That's interesting. Um, the taskbar also looks a little little sleeker on the edges there. You know, rounded corners, stuff like that. New icons. Uh, overall, it looks flat. Um, which is something I've really never personally been a fan of. It is, uh, but you know, it's, it's not a bad change. It's just not necessarily a, an improved change. Um, and I also notice a date down here, 10, 20, 2021. So I'm wondering if that's maybe hinting at a release date of October 20th for this year. Um, but that, I would say that could just be some random date, and it most likely is, but at the same time, why would they have taken the effort to put it at a date in the future? So, anyways, um, get a fresh perspective. Windows 11 provides a calm and creative space where you can pursue your passions through a fresh experience. Well, that doesn't really mean anything. That's just okay. Um... From a rejuvenated start menu to new ways to connect to your favorite people, news, games, and content. Okay, that could mean something out of any thousands of things. I mean, content, like, you know, new ways to connect to your favorite content. I, I mean, it doesn't get much vaguer than that. Windows 11 is the place to think, express, and create in a natural way because computers are so natural. So this is where I kind of started to get worried. Because, of course, this, this is the opening line, whatever. It's, it's whatever, as long as they actually tell you what it is. This is just more of that. It's subjectivity and just fluff. It's, it, it, it's just dumb as hell. Um... Anyways, maximize your productivity. Access all the apps you need and multitask with ease with tools like Snap Layouts, desktops, and new, more innovative... Wait, and a new, more innovative... I mean, intuitive, sorry, redocking the experience. So, what they're talking about there is basically... I don't know why this is popping up. Anyways, um, it's basically if you hold on... You know, like, click and hold on the uh, big... Bo is this going away, or is this... Oh, well, there it goes. Um, when you click and hold on the maximize button, uh, this will pop up, and you can arrange the windows on your monitors in a specific way. And I've heard, apparently, that they're going to have better support for multi-monitor setups, which is nice. And this is a good start, but this is 
pretty basic and you have been able to do this with third-party apps since like Windows XP so you know okay it's going in the right direction but if that's that if that's what they're leading with you know that's not great new ways to connect connect instantly to the people you care about right from your desktop with Microsoft Teams call or chat for free no matter what device they're on it's just Skype it's Skype it's Skype with a different name you know i they why why you know it, it, even the icon down here looks identical to iChat it's Skype you know they did it with Microsoft Edge i don't know why they didn't just call it like Internet Explorer 2 or something, you know, or like it's Skype. Why, why are they trying to make it sound like it's something new? You know, this is, you know, okay. Rearranging windows. I mean, th this also isn't something like particularly new. I like, like, in fact, here, let me just show you right now. Oops. You know, I can, Go up here and go, oh, well, no, I can't be... Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, look, I can do that right now. The only difference is that if I click and hold on this, nothing happens. I, I like this GUI, but, like, you know, I can I can put this up in the corner. I can, you know, I can throw it around. I can even... I can do that right now, you know? That's not new. It's just a new way of being able to do it, an easier way of being able to do it. So, while it's cool and it's a step in the right direction, it's not anything new and here we go with another thing that they're trying to play off like it's new and they've done it before it's you know i i don't have skype on my computer because i don't really like skype but i i could just go download it right now and have exactly the same experience so um your content curated by you with Microsoft Edge and a multitude of widgets you can choose from. You can quickly stay up to date with the news, information, and entertainment that matters most to you. There's a footnote. Internet access required. Okay, yeah, no shit. Um, yeah, as if internet access won't be required for this. I don't know why they specified on here. Uh, easily find the apps you need and the shows you love to watch in the new Microsoft Store. And that's another thing that I've heard is apparently they're kind of reworking the Microsoft Store. I don't really know if that'll be a good or bad thing, but I almost never use the Microsoft Store anyways because it's really, really glitchy and very difficult to use. So, but maybe that'll change. Um, but once again, it's just, you know, uh, it's something that's been done before the only difference is that this whole news area uh is well in fact i think i can uh isn't there a new oh yeah right there there's microsoft news i think i can even resize this to be no i guess i can't more turn live tile off i don't know anyways so they're basically changing it so that there's a whole widgets panel instead of me pressing the start button and then clicking on this so Okay, not that much different, but, you know, yeah, and Apple has also been doing this exact same thing since, you know, OS X 7, so, but okay, uh, um, anyways, um, this section here is basically just an advertisement for Xbox Game Pass, um, you've been able to use Game Pass on Windows, 10 for quite some time now i don't know why they are you know trying to you know just advertise for here it, it has nothing to do with windows 11 i can i can this is not a new feature i can i can do this right now you know like they're, they're not even advertising like a new a new way to use it it's just like yep you can still use this thing that existed in the last version of windows it's like uh, all right well that's <laughs> a pc for each of us now this is where i started to get worried so far it's just been disappointing but this down here is worrying 
The new Windows is available on the widest array of devices, from our partners who are bringing you the latest innovations in touch, pen, and voice, making it easy to find the best, most affordable device for you. And they showed this a lot in the, you know, keynote, I guess, for Windows 11. Um, it's clear that what they're trying to do is make an operating system that functions very well on mobile devices. Um, I don't know anyone who wants a Microsoft tablet. Uh, they're overpriced. They're like very badly overpriced for the kind of specs that you get. Um, you would do a lot better to get an iPad and that's about the only time you'll ever hear me endorse Apple. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, it's not much. I mean, you'd be you'd do better to just, you know, root uh, an Android tablet and install Windows or or Linux on it that way. Um, but this worries me a lot because a big reason why I don't like Mac nowadays, or rather Mac OS, <coughs> Mac OS to be more specific, uh, is because it just turned it into you know iOS but on a desktop. You know. It, it removed any kind of defining features of being on a computer. And it seems like Microsoft's taking the same approach. I mean, the flatness of everything, the, you know, the frosted glass all over the fucking place, uh, you know, these big, you know, rounded edge buttons like this. Um, it's worrying. And you might think, well, you know, okay, what's the problem? You know, they're, they're making it compatible for people, you know, uh, if I, you know, say there is someone who wants to use touch, uh, you know, like a touchscreen laptop or a, 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 a tablet or something like that and use Windows on it. Why, why is it a bad thing that it's being more compatible? It's not necessarily a bad thing that it's more compatible for them, but it's just that in order to do that, it makes for a, a, a worse much less integral uh, or, or rather integrated operating system for an actual computer. There's, it, it seems like it's kind of going in the direction of trying to lock yet more uh, customizability and features or, you know, editable aspects of the operating system behind a security wall I guess you know it's I mean I guess a good example I think would be with the difference between iOS and Android with iOS there is next to nothing about the operating system that you can change and for some people that's fine but not for everyone um, and myself included uh, and that's why I prefer Android so much because if I want to and I take the effort to I can change pretty much anything about it. That's what I like about Linux, too. Is Linux is even better because that's open source. If I, I can change literally anything and everything about it. And this attempt to make an all-encompassing operating system means that it might be a jack-of-all-trades, but it will be a master of none. It's not going to excel as a great operating system for the computer just like it won't excel at, to be a great operating system for mobile you know that's why there is a distinction between well you know what android is based on linux you know but they didn't just decide that you know to, to, to use linux on phones because it's clunky it doesn't really work that well and so you make a, a version that does work well um Whereas with Windows like this, it seems like what they're going to try to do is just encompass everything under one operating system instead of having multiple or even using one operating system that has like a computer mode or a tablet mode or a, a phone mode. So that is worrying. We'll see how that goes, I guess. Find the right PC for you. This is just... Um, advertisement for their cloud system that literally nobody uses uh, and 
the newsletter, basic system requirements, um, and stuff like that. Something that worried me, though, is this, TPM. Um, they need you to have a processor that can use TPM2. Uh, there's a fucking lot of processors out there that can't do that. Uh, you know, not most processors that are being commercially, you know, like, like produced now, uh, you won't have to worry about, but of course people aren't going out and buying a new processor every time that more come out. This is seriously going to restrict the amount of people who can actually use Windows 11. Um... And that's, you know, while it's not a problem for me, uh, it's going to hold Windows 11 back from being a flagship operating system for a bit. Um, so anyways, uh, because when I read through this, it was just a bunch of pretentious bullshit uh, for the most part and introducing, you know, quote unquote features that have been in Windows for uh, years now. Um, I was like, oh, ah, here we go. Frequently asked questions. What's the difference between Windows 10 and Windows 11? Two sentences. Two, no, sorry. Um, four sentences, but, uh, it's basically two. So Windows 11 has all the power and security of Windows 10 with a redesigned and refresh, refreshed look. I would hope so. Yeah, generally that is that is the expectation when creating a new operating system based off of a previous one. So, um, it also comes with new tools, sounds, and apps. Again, I would just hope that that's the standard. Um, and these last two, I'm not even counting as part of it because they don't mean anything. Every detail has been considered. Obviously, that is not the case. Um, all of it comes together to bring you a refreshing experience on your PC, which is entirely subjective. So, um, yeah, that's, um, that's about it. And... There's a bit more information that you can uh, find out by doing a little bit of research, but I think the biggest problem is that this is it. This is the official page for Windows 11. This is, this is as much information as they care to tell people. This is it. And um, down here somewhere it says, uh, let's see. Yeah, right here. Um, no, wait, no. Yeah, Windows 11 isn't here yet, but we'll be coming later this year. Hmm. And that's honestly even more worrying, because if this is it, you know, I mean, I might be able to make Windows 10 look like this right now if I spent a, enough time, you know, uh, trying to edit how things look, you know, change icons and... You know, maybe we'll replace the shell with something. Uh, you know, this has been done for literal, oh, literally over a decade now. You you have been able to do that. Um, you know, this is just this is literally Skype. Okay, not literally, but it is more or less Skype. Widgets have been a thing that you can do for ever now and. They already had the widgets thing here in the start menu. You can it's even animated. It's just looks different on here. Uh, this is l just an advertisement unrelated to Windows 11, and this is the nail in the coffin. Uh, and then they just start trying to get you to buy it down here, and, and that's it. That that this is you know I, I don't even. I mean, this is it. You can see in the URL here, th this is the Windows 11 page. I mean, when I, it's, it's the one that they have on the sidebar. I can even click it and reload it and everything, and here it is. This is it. So, now that I've kind of gone through and looked at what they care to tell people about it, as far as any kind of lists or anything like that, um, I'm 
pretty disappointed. I, uh, I mean, I wasn't expecting much, but Windows 10, in my opinion, has been one of the worst operating systems I have ever had to use. Windows 8 was better. Fucking Windows Vista was better than 10. And the only reason I use Windows 10 is because, unfortunately, Microsoft has a bit of a monopoly on that front. And it... You know, uh, there's a lot of programs I use that have only been made for Windows 10. Um, and so I'm kind of forced into it. And my only alternative is a new version of Windows, should that ever come out. And now that they've announced that a new one will, and this is it? Uh, it just... It's... Very, very disappointing to see that you know six years you know th this is six years of work um i've been looking at other people's reactions to it and everything and uh i think someone described it really well as uh you know they were asked how they felt about it and they said it felt directionless and i have to say yeah that's that's about it that that, that is exactly how i would describe it it's directionless um, you know, it feels like they just felt like they needed to do something, and so they just, you know, puked this out and said, all right, it's a whole new operating system, even though this honestly looks like, I mean, like I said, it looks like this is just a, a very slightly modified version of Windows 11. I didn't even realize this was a video. All right, let's watch it. Let's... Okay, I am going to skip that opening sequence. Wait, I've seen this before. Okay. This is one of the most ridiculous things ever, but uh, you should watch it. So, yeah, that's, uh, that is it. <laughs> I don't, so, they play, they, they play, like, action movie trailer music, like, this is a, a, a revolutionary new experience or something, you know, of, I didn't even mention the themes, because, you know, what is this, changing the background and the, the color, like, I, you you can do this right now on Windows 10. Like this is a thing. 
And it's it says back here all new. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Yep, all all. Well, oh, why is it not moving? All right, all. Nope, it's stuck again. All right, thank you, Microsoft. There we go. All new themes. That's yeah. Why couldn't they have just used YouTube for God's sake? Look at this shit. You can see my my mouse moving. I. The whole thing is frozen. Anyways, so, you know, they mentioned a couple very basic things in here. I mean, you know, I don't know, being able to write, you know, like handwrite and then it turns into uh, text. That, that was cool. I liked that. But I'm running Windows 11 on a desktop, you know. That feature, because of that, is absolutely useless and does not apply to me whatsoever um i mean it's a feature for 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 tablets I, uh, you know i mean if this was the if that was like a trailer for some new you know maybe i mean watching that it feels like a trailer for their tablets and well, once again, it's just almost sad that, you know, after so long, this is it, you know? I mean, Windows has existed since before Windows 95, of course, but Windows 95 was really the modern, the first version of what is kind of modern Windows. I mean, since Windows 95, you have the taskbar down here, everything aligned to the left, you've had the start menu, you've had the start button, you know, uh, you've had <coughs> icons on the desktop, you've had, you know, file explorer, all this stuff, you know, and it's changed a little bit, but nothing has fundamentally changed that much so I mean what is this 26 years of development from Windows 95 and this is it this this is it this is it Windows 10 2 uh, tablet edition I, I guess that that that's the impression I'm getting from it you know they had six years to develop this. Microsoft right now is worth two trillion dollars. Trillion dollars. That, you know, there was a report done a couple years ago that said that over one billion devices are using Windows 10. No, not one billion devices, sorry, one billion people on probably more devices than that are using Windows as their primary operating system. You know, that much weight, two trillion dollars, six years, and it is a reskin with some extra tablet functions of, of Windows 10. That, that is pathetic. I mean, wow. Uh, they say capitalism breeds innovation, but I don't know, man. I, the, what the fuck? <clears throat> but like I said, I haven't tried Windows 11. It isn't finished yet, I hope. Um, but I am not seeing a single fundamentally different thing about it. Um, it it's... It's pathetic. It's disappointing. And I really, really hope that something happens. Something interesting is changed about it before it releases apparently this year. And the year is already over half done. Uh, so, you know, either they have something up their sleeve, which I highly doubt, or it's basically, like I said, just going to be Windows 10 too. Um, anyways, that was my very pes pessimistic, um, I guess, 
uh, reaction to what they have shown Windows 11 to be. Uh, it's, yeah. Oh, I guess another thing, too, is um, there's a bit of a rumor uh, w that says the home version of Windows 11 can't be installed without Internet access. That, <laughs> wow, that's actually just completely unacceptable. That's ridiculous, you know? That means that your hardware has to be tied to the internet or else you're fucked unless you have a Windows 11 Pro version. Um so, yeah. If that's the case, I'm 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 actually just staying on Windows 10. I never thought I'd say that, but, you know. Um Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. It's it's pretty bad. But We'll see what happens when it actually releases, and when it does release, um, I'll install it on a virtual machine and, and give it a go, try it out, see, you know, probably use it for a, I, I, at least a few days, if not like a week or something, to really get a feel for it and see, okay, is this actually something that I can use? Um, and then I'll do a bit of a, I'll, I'll do a video like this one and basically see if my opinion changes. I very much hope it does, and hopefully it's for the better. <laughs> um, so, anyways, uh, I guess that's about it. Um, and, yeah, thanks for watching.